panned out and then we were always control of the football match, I felt. They had a bit of possession in their own half, going from side to side. Um, we knew about the rotation at the offer, we filled the slots where they wanted to go into, we broke well. Um, we got caught with a sucker punch. The Rob's not had a save to make. All he's taken is a few free kicks, a few goal kicks, and then um, set place part and parcel again. Massive. We've lost first contact, and that's the big one, losing the first contact, and then they've gone on the second contact. So we'll look at that, that's where we have to learn from it. But look, uh, it's hard to be upbeat in a downbeat situation, but we'll, we'll come away from this and we'll, we'll use it again as a, as a platform to build on and get the disappointments into Monday. And, and, channel it in the right way and, and go again on Monday. With the corner, I'm not sure, did, did the flag go off? Did the, did the the flag go yes, off? the linesman's give a uh, goal kick, um, but then the fourth official tells me that it's hit our player. So, look, I don't know. I'll have to look back at it again and see it. Look, we've had a bit of injury, a couple of injuries, where we can turn, we can turn Fiol around in the, in the end, but um, that's a prime example of the decision that the referee decides. I don't get it. He shouldn't have even gone pitch. He's done nine, fla nine fouls. Um, should have got a second yellow card for Luke Young in the middle of the park. But then we've got Theo, who's got a massive gash across his face. Oh. Whether he's in, look, the amount of time it took for him to get the red card tells me it's not a red card. Because how long he's talking, he's gone and saw the blood and he's, he's walked back and gone and done it. Look, I ain't saying there's any malice in the challenge at all. But the volume of persistent fouling that he'd done, he shouldn't have been in that situation. And the injuries as well, Dean, before the game, Kwame Thomas, that's, that's a huge blow, isn't it? Look, it's massive. Uh, again, it's, uh, it is what it is. It's unfortunate, it's an accident, it's happened. Um, he's in a good, upbeat mind, good mindset. It's going to be a long journey for him. We'll support him through it. And he's, he's came today because he wants to play a part of the group. That's amazing, that's what Kwame's about. He offered so much for the team. He can't. Um, Give us what we want off the pitch for him, but he'll support in the supporting route as the players on the outside of the team stay together, stay united, and we'll go again on Monday. Uh, uh, from your point of view, can you sign someone, an out of contract player? Uh, have you even thought about that? <laughs> yeah, look, it's a, I had a conversation yesterday um, with the pairs that be. We got one of there was option previously before the window closed that we looked at. Obviously, now it's just out of contract players with our situation being it's classed as contract. So it's it's something that we have to upset, assess now and it's something that I might have to be active. I was always a little bit uh, possibly leaning towards of not looking someone not been anywhere from the first half of the season. Can they come in? We've got to get fit. We, we, we have to look at that situation now and we have to we have to address it. We need another body, there's no denying that. So make a few phone calls and we see what's about. And it's too early with Jordan the injury, it's a hamstring? Yeah, he's hamstring again. Um, Again, it's just one of those things for him. Uh, just bad luck for the lad. He's, he's a, I thought he was at the point that he was ready to go back in and play. Um, it's unfortunate that he's got his opportunity, but for the first 20 minutes, I thought he played really well in Dior. Showed that it's not just about Dior and, and Kwame. Um, we train on things in training, we, we mix up the combinations, and you could see a great um, link up between Dior and uh, JP. Unfortunately, what's happened with JP's hamstring? for me, what a game to try and bounce back on Monday if that's the word bounce back. Yeah, look, it is. <laughs> We've been on a great run. We deal with it because you know what? If we go and win on Monday, we two defeats in 16. Okay, so that's the way we'll look at it. We'll remain positive. Uh, we'll do our best at the weekend on Monday now, sorry, uh, to go and get the three points. It's an optimist bit in the chat and trading on the uh, Yeah, and he's just gone off for a header uh, and it is landed. He's you know what I mean, we've, we've heard the stream, uh, one of the lads was in the region a bit and he said I heard pop, I heard click. So it was all the symptoms, um, a sheer pain that the lad was in after, after that, he wanted to settle down. So straight away we knew it was the worst and Gigz uh, the physio, he, he was like straight away done with good. So we, we got straight out to the hospital, got scanned on it last night, then all the information came back to us. So look, it, unfortunately for Kwame, it, it's, it's going to be a long journey, a long process. We'll make sure he gets all the right treatments and uh, we'll look after him going forward. Rupture, then, is it? Uh, yeah, he's looking around six months, six to nine months, yeah. yeah and, and that's not, it, it's bad for any player, but what is it has been an integral part of what we've done this season. <laughs> yeah, look, it's, as you said, he's um, in and out first half of the season, but he got the opportunity, he came in at the doors, we spoke about things, um, he took on the information, showed him clips what, where we feel he can do better and what he needs to do better. And, you know what? The lad took it on. He's been absolutely immense. He's been absolutely immense uh, of this period that we're in now to get us to where we were in the league. And it's just unfortunately he's one of those things where I said we'll stay together, we'll look after him.
multitasking, aren't they? Some goals and assists from him, Yeah, he? look, he offers both things for the team. He offers massive things for the team. The platform for us to play off. He's not just a target man who wins headers. He wants to run the channels, he goes in, he sticks, and you know what I mean? He's, uh, he's going to get himself in the middle of the goals. As I said, the biggest thing for him was when you get involved in the uh, build up the play, get yourself in the middle of the goals, get your rewards, and he's got a few proper culture goals. One, maybe two strikers you could depend on Jordan, I suppose. Yeah, look, we'll, um, we'll see how we'll assess G, uh, JP, and then look, is there going to be two strikers around? That's the thing, Rich. Yeah, it's yeah. look, I'll, I'll make a few phone calls, we'll see what's about, and we'll see where we'll wrap each other out. Thank you. So just going back to the um, phase before the corner, would, did the referee say that it was a, a goal kick? Because it looked like it maybe the got lines up for the offside. For the goal kick. Is it not for the offside? Before? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. The line, sorry, the linesman's gone for the offside, right. but the referee's saying he's come off our player. Right. I don't know. So it's hard for me to comment on that. So if that is the case, then the referee's in a, in a good position. Um, so if he's seen seen that and he's not offside, then he's made the right decision. Yeah. Injuries aside, is it? Is it nice to have that game straight straight away sort of bounce back yeah, in? Yeah, because he gets out of our system. It's, uh, look, uh, as a performance-wise, the first 20 minutes is probably the best we've started. We're at it on the front foot. Um, we're never going to be able to play that high intensity for that because of how, how fast we started. So the game pans out, but we should have been, uh, been out of sight. But we wasn't. But then we were always in the game, setting our traps, breaking, and always looking at the most um, team you know, that more capable of scoring, scoring the goal and, and, and taking the victory. We got done by set play. It's disappointing, he puts massive in the game, and uh, we have to um, we work on him, attacking wise and defensive. So he's lost a man, so we need, we need to look back at that and make sure we learn from it. Because if we learn from it, then it uh, makes sure he doesn't have to get. Yeah, is that the main sort of frustration from that first half, just not quite getting, getting the goal that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. Look, we said at half time, we went at half time, did little bits that we pulled about how they wanted to keep, spoke about him uh, in the hotel before we came, about their rotation and the midfield runners. We dealt with it all. Um, Again, at half time, they were still trying to do it. We fed it back to the players, they knew that. Um, it was just the biggest frustration was, as I said, the players, we should be out of sight. So, use 15 minutes, set ourselves down, and we don't start again at a tempo. Yeah, I guess little setbacks like this are going to be part of the, the running for now for everybody. It's going to be twists and turns. It was going to be twists and turns. It's, uh, it is a roller coaster, but we'll manage our emotions the way through it. There's going to be ups and downs, and there's no guarantee that we're going to go and get three points on Monday. So, we'll get, it, we'll, we'll get ourselves back. <clears throat> We'll regroup, we'll settle things down, um, have a few more extra bodies uh, in training over the next few days. And we'll put a team out there at the weekend that goes, gives everything for the football club and does their best to get three points. Brilliant.